Nabikins. This is an extremely awkward setup, but the phone is precariously placed and I'd rather not hold it. And I could just sit in the floor if I propped it up on my nightstand or on my desk. But I decided I just would be better to have it set up like this. We're going to talk about the astral space today. I have my usual notes. It's actually this little bitty section right here for this video. Um, the astral space is, as the name suggests, an absolutely integral part to astral work. And it plays a big role in spirit work as well. Um, even if it's subconsciously, you use the astral to get in, communi get in uh, correspondence and communication with whoever you're speaking with. Um, I've already made a video for creating the astral space, and it is the one before this, so that means everybody here at this point in the video, uh, in the playlist, if you want an order of the playlist, if you have not, I, d I recommend backing up to any videos you have not yet seen, because it is very important that you view this as a series. Unless you've already created your astral space, astral space prior to the video on your own or through some other guidance and you are 100% sure that you have a functional astral space that is safe and protected from any sort of harm that might come to you from having an unprotected astral space. So make sure you've got that settled in and that you've laid claim to your astral space appropriately. Um, but if you are at this point in the playlist and you ha already have your astral space or have followed it, this playlist, uh, congratulations, you've just made a huge step in your life to achieving meditational goals, astral work goals, and spirit goals. So, yay for spiritual growth, give yourself a hand. And it's used for astral meditation, travel, communication, and meetings. Um, I hang out with people through this method if they are long distance. It's easier that way, and travel can be a pretty far-fetched notion and a bit difficult to achieve if there's a lot of uh, space in between or if it's like a really long distance. It is an absolute necessity, I'll tell you that much. Let's see. I actually use the plane for meditations in the other videos of the meditation playlist, uh, the astral travel. Maybe I should actually make a video explaining that because that's a whole concept in itself. Well, we're only three minutes in. I guess I could go ahead and explain it. Astral travel is when you go somewhere using the astral as a conduit instead of physically going there. It's easier to manifest. Um, if you um, have a specific place in mind, but it's mostly for meeting people in an astral place rather than a physical place, which is um, in Reiki actually, is what you use to reach the recipient is by astrally traveling to them. You just know like the general state and their name, which helps you locate them specifically. And it's also used for general communication with the spirits and deities and other people. And as I said before, the meetings, like hanging out with people and Reiki. Um, I use it a lot for um, guidance meditations. That's my favorite use for it. I like to create astral spaces for specific meditations. My roommate's in there breaking things, but that's normal. But... That's really all that I have for you today, is that explanation of what the astral space is for. I feel very awkward because my roommate is in like the next room and I feel like I'm being listened in on and I do not like that. So, I'm just going to end it here today. And if you have any questions on any of these specific areas of the astral space, just feel free to comment it, message me on any of the social medias. You guys know the works and I'll answer it. Um, if it's a lengthy enough res if the response requiring, like if the required response is lengthy enough, I'll just 
make a video on it. Otherwise, I will just um, make a public comment with the question and answer so that anybody can see it and I don't have to make a whole video on it. So this is probably the shortest video I've ever made. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know if you have any questions. And live beautifully. Bye, dears.